All right, so we have an amazing run here. I mean, it's crazy, right? You got one downspout here, one downspout here. You have second story water coming down to the first story rooftop. You can see the downspout there, downspout there. All the sheet water off this roof and you're getting all the water off that second story. There's so much water in this gutter trough. We're gonna take this, because of the utilities, you know, watch, watch me get a call that we did this. This is how we found this mess. I don't know, the utility companies, they, they just put everything on the contractor. It's ridiculous. So we're not going that way for that very reason. I don't even want to go any closer to it than here. We're going to run this all. We got nice slope, real nice slope. We're going to run this, all this water to that back corner. We got a lot of utilities here. Scott already checked the depth of them. So we're going to hand dig over there. Nice trench. We're going to grab, see that triple wall? I tell everybody, this triple wall doesn't have no UV protection. I mean, it's just garbage, man. I don't know what you guys are doing using it. I don't know what I have to do to discourage you guys from using that triple wall for downspouts. It's the wrong material. It's fine for septic fields. That's where it belongs. It's not a yard drain pipe. So we do have this makeshift drywall and they didn't have any fabric. So see when soil fills the voids of the stone, it, it, it's not going to work anyway, but it was a dry well. It wasn't a French drain, so just it's a failed experiment. We see failed experiments all the time. It's exhausting. I, all I can do is educate the homeowner so they know what to shop for. Hopefully the DIY gets it because we're going to do quad packs in here. Now, we did find a way to ship dual wall pipe, guys. We, we, we're putting seven dual wall pipes, seven seven-footers in side the center of the coils on the pallet so it's pretty pretty sweet we're going to use culvert pipe dual wall we're going to run it to the storm drain over there and do the tap we're going to get all the gutter water all the way back here and that pipe's going to be inside the trench with our french drain system we're not going to connect the boffman gold to the royal blue the high octane you keep them separate that way, if you have to clean out leaves and debris from your underground roof runoff system, you didn't contaminate and put your beautiful French drain in jeopardy of failure. So Marcelo, he's mending the irrigation system anywhere we caught it. He's replacing pipe, putting in couplers. Once he gets that done, fabric will go in and, oh, here you go. These guys are fast. They move like the wind. This back run, we've hauled out all that clay. Went ahead, mended the sprinklers. Always mark them where they're at. They're easy to miss, so you want to make sure you mark them. We're going to get our quad pack in here. Then we're going to lock it up with half inch to three quarter inch stone. Not going to use a lot of stone because we've got a quad pack. But this is going to be a bigger reservoir and it's going to move more water. This is going to be a better yard drain for the homeowner. And for the installer, whether you're DIY or contractor, if you can get better flow out of the high octane than you can stone, which is the case. We've had this pipe now all summer. We've... We've tried so many things with it, and we're so impressed with all the many things we can do with it. So we're going to run the quad, lock it up with some surface stone, build a better yard drain, and it's less labor, less material. Pipes cheaper than stone, no matter how you look at it. All right, so you don't have to tie everything together. Water just moves through these pipes. With the big windows, Boffman High... Boffman tile, they just open this stuff up. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. And I doubt anything will ever compete with it. Mm. 
man, those inlets are crazy large. So the water just moves right through the pipe. We're going to do a French drain grid. This yard's flat. It's really saturated all through here. It's really soft. We want to get this completely done before we start working over here. Because we're just going to take our plywood, move it here, and then we're just going to repeat. All right, so the Boffman Gold, that's one of the quad, what part of the quad here. Because we have a downspout here, downspout on the other end, crazy long run, a lot of sheet water. Now tie, tie your downspouts together because that's what keeps the pipe clean. The more water you're pushing through, the cleaner the pipe will be. So shingle gravel is just going to get blown right out of this thing because it's a two-story house and there's so much water that those two downspouts are responsible for that we're not messing around. We want this all the way to our discharge into the city storm drain. Remember, you want two perf pipes on the bottom. We have one perf pipe teed, teed in to our quad pack over here. Remember, we got a roof runoff system inside a French drain system. But even though we combined them, we never, ever piped the Boffman Gold into the Boffman High Octane. So we have a T coming off. We're just going to put an end plug in here. We're going to put two more on. Water just moves through the high octane because of the huge cutout windows. Now remember, there's over 17 square inches of inlet per, per linear foot. I mean, just one foot of pipe has over 17 square inches. I mean, that, that is just insane. But that's why we love this pipe. Perfect. That's a gr I'm glad I caught that as it is. Mended the sprinkler line. Over here we got a quad. One's tied in with the T. Got three end plugs. That's it. Water's going to move right through it. We didn't want to lose the reservoir to stone fill in the end of the pipe. That's why we like the end plugs. You know, there's a internal coupler. That's why those are so handy. We keep many of those on the truck or tool trailer. Beautiful. All right, so Valentine's doing a really nice job getting all that sod in place on that first run that we did. Now, that first run, that one has the Boffman Gold, the roof runoff system, in the quad pack. Then this main here is just going to be all perf pipe. This is a drain that's going to flow water. This, this is going to flow more water than any other configuration. I mean, a, a quad pack of high, oct high octane, it's going to move more water than any other drainage system that you could possibly think of as far as installations. Now, what's great is the homeowner benefits. This is a monster reservoir in the event that the storm drain can't take any more water, and it does happen. seems like our infrastructure is falling behind, and this is becoming kind of a, a trend everywhere I go yeah we have backups with our storm water so got this monster reservoir now think about it 20 years from now those trees are going to be even bigger yet they're going to raise the ground but you know water's still going to flow the whole thing flows water so even if it creeps up a couple inches I'm telling you it's going to flow just too much of it is perforated pipe. And this pipe here, water moves through this with less restriction than it does through the stone. There's more void than you can get with stone. Beautiful, beautiful, nice teamwork. Remember, we got our balance tube connected here. It's really nice and right there you can see the the roof runoff system now 
we PVC taped all the fittings so that when the frost heaves the ground, it can't pull them apart. So we can rest assured when we cover this, trust me, that PVC tape, super sticky, super stretchy, that stuff's not coming apart. That's for sure. In my hand, I have three inch and a half round rock. They're laying loose in my hand, but they're up against one another. They won't compact because it's round rock, not crushed rock. What do you see? Look into those three rocks. What do you see? You see a void. What is that void for? It's to move water. That's what that void is for. So a lot of people have been asking, doesn't the water just fall out of high octane because of the big inlets? And hey, it's a legit question. So I'm trying to give you a visual. So that's what big round rock does. Look at the void, inch and a half round rock. Now, Look at that void. All right, so let's let's entertain and educate all at once. All right, so here's your French drain on drugs, okay? All right, so here's your French drain on drugs. Your lawnmower's going over it. You're going over it. Where'd all the voids go? Where did all those voids go? They filled with mud. Holy smokes, wait a minute. Okay, I got void. But as this, during our wet season, mixes with the subsurface soil, the voids disappear. The voids are gone. That's your French drain on drugs. Here's your French drain, highly educated. All the voids, all the voids stay in between the stone. None of the subsurface soil is going up into the stone and filling the voids. Again, your French drain on drugs. Your French drain, highly educated, healthy, and not on drugs. All right, it's in the afternoon now. The boys got a lot done this morning they went ahead and they ran a couple of parallels and there's a third one but i'll tell you what they did so they laid all their plywood out they dug out two trenches with balance tubes the fabric pipe and stone and irrigation system done as far as mending the sprinklers this here was an open trench just an hour and a half ago. You can barely tell, but they already have the sod back on top. Here's the balance tube that connects all three runs together. The downspout's been buried. It's ran in with our French drain. Here we go. So, Remember, when you're running downspouts, once you let the water, once you let the water out of the pipe, once you let it go, I mean, it's going to scatter a bit. So we didn't want to dump the water on the other side of the patio. They're going to get a brick paver patio put in. This yard didn't drain well at all. We had to take care of that problem first. But to my point, this gutter right here, monster gutter. This downspout right here, it's responsible for a lot of water. So instead of just dumping it right next to our French drain here, we ran with the Boffman solid corrugated four inch, comes in coils just like the high octane. We ran that around the patio. So it's when you're dumping high, 
high volumes of water and you're asking it to come around you know what it's so much better to just with 20 feet more a pipe that's going to be put in a trench that's already dug that's that's the way to go so now that the sods put back together on these two runs they moved the plywood over and now they're working their way out of the yard this is the last run so this system had three parallel runs and then they just fold back the boffman eight slot in the royal blue the high octane they just fold that back so that it's out of their way and as soon as they put the fabric back in here connect the sprinklers go ahead and lay the fabric in here the pipe and the stone those tile tape handles are great man I love them they make it so much easier Man, look how fast that went. And look at that connection. No tree roots are getting in there. That tape is incredible. Super sticky, super strong. Yeah. Lasts forever. Man, I love it. Good connection. Keep the tree roots out of it. That maple tree can get big and it's not going to become a problem. Homeowners beware. The guys out there that prey on you because you're desperate to solve your yard drainage system. Now, we usually come in after somebody else has made an attempt or sadly just robbed the homeowner. Literally came in wearing a ski mask, had no morals. It's just unbelievable. I don't know how these guys can do it. We dug this out of this yard. Somebody put six inches of solid pipe with an end cap on it nothing was on this end and they put this yard drain catch basin in the ground i don't know what the homeowner paid for this but it was a mugging it was a mugging and it's not right so homeowners really do your homework when hiring these guys a lot of them are just on the take and here is the perfect example they seen this guy he's got a beautiful house I mean really nice spread and the guy probably maybe he has more money than time so he's quick to write a check but when you don't do your homework this is what you get this is all that was here and that does absolutely nothing. I talk about these yard drain systems that are a yard drain system to nowhere. Homeowners, do your homework. Beware. All right, I just arrived and the guys have been gracious enough to take a, a wire tracker, find where they can no longer continue. They dug down and carefully remove this pipe to show you guys i just literally washed it off with a garden hose so you can see it so this is what collapsed pipe looks like this is this is some collapsed pipe you can see that it's very very weak very very thin i could just push my finger now this is what it looks like now this is a solid piece their downspout system was collapsed too so the guys removed this for me to show me they wire tracked it to where it was collapsed and then they they dug carefully so they can cut it out and show you. So I really appreciate my crew, you know, because these guys, they want to get home to their families. They want to get home, especially this time of year, to a warm meal. All right. So when when I'm asking them to do things for you guys, I mean, yeah, I know they're hourly, but nonetheless, I don't care. They, they can work all the hours they want being a ditcher. You know, it seems like nobody wants to do it. So they just they need to get home and rest for tomorrow is all. So we don't ever see that with the Boffman tile. Boffman has a design where it's square on the exterior. 
that's to give it superior strength above and beyond anybody else in the corrugated pipe market. Now, they went ahead and they ran the eight slot high octane. Look at that. That's crazy. So they knew to open a pipe up that much that they really needed to make a strong, heavy walled pipe, which they have, and that's what they have done. Square on the outside for strength. You can see how it's rounded on the inside. That is an engineered design. When the water is, it's initially is slowed down by this. It's not like smooth wall PVC because you're not going to get the turbulence out of smooth wall PVC. So smooth wall PVC loads up with trash and garbage and debris where this pipe does not. So we usually do this in a burrito wrap, but a lot of times we get dirty stone and we got to wash the dirt out. You know, the first few real good storms will take care of that. But what's nice is even if you had the Boffman Gold in the solid pipe, if any shingle gravel gets caught in it, this is designed to kind of slow the water down initially so that it kind of like builds up. And then more water creates more pounds per square inch, which moves all kinds of debris, as well as the turbulence that is caused by these rounded shapes inside the Boffman tile. So, and then a lot of people ask me, why do they call it Boffman tile? It's pipe. Okay, guys, years ago, Boffman made the terracotta pipe out of clay. And, you know, just not only just to stay with tradition, I mean, that's just how... It, the farmers have called it tiling the fields from, you know, the day the first tile was made. And again, the first tile was like a terracotta tile cooked in a kelm. So that's why they call it tile. I, I, you know, I realize it's corrugated pipe. All right, guys, enough of the history lesson and all that good stuff. I'm going to get back to work, help the guys out. But uh, yeah, a superior product versus, oh, I'm going to hire the handyman or I'm going to go cheap and buy my pipe at Home Depot. All right, guys, I, uh, I don't know what more I can do. Just keep showing you why we do what we do and why we use the quality pipes that we use. The bottom of your quad pack, the reason why the guys like the end plugs, they can just take the sod staples there. They go right through the lip real nice. The pipe's going to want to coil after being rolled up, it's just gonna want to coil on you. So the two bottom pipes, we put the end plugs in and then use the sod staples, stick them right into the clay or whatever your ground is. This makes it real easy and nice to work with. But that's a, a question that we've had. A lot of people that are starting to build the quad packs are like, hey, how are you guys you know, keeping them nice and tight and laying flat. Well, the guys are stapling, you know, they're just pinning the end plugs on the two bottom ones. Then once they get the top ones in place, we're taking the string. The string that's on the Boffman tile is really nice string, it's real strong. We actually use that to hold the quad pack together. So between the sod staples and the ni nylon string, nice and strong. All right, we got a brand new Easy Drain or whatever you want to call this, Easy Flow. I call it recycled garbage. Okay, so I'm gonna put my weight on it and I'm gonna see if this pipe will hold, if it'll hold me up. Hang on. All right, so how would it do? Not the, too good. No. All right, let's try the high octane. Let me just grab a piece of scrap here. Let's see here. Let me try again. All right. I don't have the best balance. How would it do? Good. Awesome. Well, I don't know, we'll do something fun with this thing, as you guys know, but there's our crush test, high octane versus the NDS Easy Flow.
Don't worry, you can stomp on the stone. It's Boffman tile. I know if you've been using the NDS Easy Flow, you don't want to do this because it's going to collapse and then you're not going to get good flow. You're going to have a choke down system. So, okay, so here's, here's the Easy Flow. Oops, sorry. Um, geez. Well, I didn't realize just how, how bad that was. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so. Jeez. All right, so we're packing stone in. The guys are taking the heels of their boots. And they're stuck uh, cramming the stone around, packing the, the pipe really tight. That's what gives it its strength. Oh, here's some Boffman tile. All right, so I'm putting 230 pounds. All right, I got all my weight on one foot now. All right, so no deflection. Strong pipe, huh, brother? Yeah. It's awesome. That's why it's better than all the rest. You just have to stand on your quad pack. Trust me, it can take it. What a big reservoir. Four pipes making up a monster reservoir. Beautiful, beautiful. So you have this long inlet. Think about that. Giant inlet. Takes in water everywhere. Not four inches, not six inches, not 12 inches. It's taking the water in from everywhere. Beautiful. This guy had such a wet backyard. When I came back here, I said, yeah, you're not going to be happy unless we run two mains, connect them with a couple balance tubes, then right through there is our dual wall discharge, and then we connected it to, we did a tap on a storm drain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Moving right along. That whole back one is done. That's finished. It looked just like this not that long ago. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some ideas here for your downspouts, things you can do for your downspouts. A lot of people have problems where they don't have infrastructure to take yard drains, so what ends up happening neighbors get mad because you're dumping the water near the property line so now this guy's not happy because now his yard is a mess so what we do is we do a, a leech line so here we got a critter guard that way I don't have to worry about animals getting in there and we're running a hundred feet of this leech line now this isn't a French drain, that's why there's no fabric. It's a leach field. Well, let me correct myself, it's a, a leach line. It's just one single pipe ran, and that pipe will leach because it's knife cut. Now, you got all kinds of leaves and shingle gravel and garbage, so that's why we put that in there. That's not a surface drain, it's not taking in any surface water. Again, this isn't a French drain. This isn't even a yard drain. This is a leach line, which works great for gutter downspouts. And I love those. They're about 16 inches deep, and they have these legs so that the frost can't pick it up. You put the dirt over underneath these, these legs. I'm gonna shoot a video on this for you guys that 
that that is the best and strongest basin i don't care anywhere in the united states i would use that 12 inch round and we use it for many many things and i'm going to teach you how to use them when to use them what they're intended for they're not intended for a french drain i can tell you that they're they're intended for yard drains there's a difference french drains are the ones you see us burrito wrap yard drains is when you just take bulk water and you take a solid pipe somewhere it's usually what the guys will charge you because they're not equipped to do anything more you know seeing is believing and here is a bunch of pipe that the guys brought in this was about a week's worth of work every time we do a job anymore we're pulling out a system that's failed now this is the Home Depot pipe you know I'm not gonna mention any names but if you know your pipe you know what it is so I always talk about how animals you know chew holes in the recycled pipes and we can't figure it out I know it's made out of recycled restaurant containers food containers but it might even be the additives that they have to add to it so that it has additional strength so so we got a bunch of pipe here that you know animals have chewed on and you can see a lot of this pipe has collapsed and failed this is more than one run obviously when you the guys you know you can see where where animals chewed holes in this pipe so scott and the guys and i appreciate what they're doing they saved everything from this past week and they just before they put it in the dumpster they just told me hey got a pile in the yard you know show people how animals chew on this pipe from Home Depot and show them all the collapsed pipe and you can see that a large part of these systems that they tore out you know this stuff's just collapsed so again boy look at this so you got the animals chewing on this recycled pipe they just they really like it I don't know all the details to that again all I can do is make assumptions they don't do it to the virgin yellow they don't do it to the Boffman gold so we have great luck with the virgin material so just Another visual, you guys love the visuals, but here's the graveyard from this past week. They're pretty strong, huh? Yeah. I love this company. I mean, the quality in all of their products, it's insane. I honestly don't know how NDS is still in business, to be honest. I just, it's garbage. I think the only reason why they sell their junk is because it's in the big box stores and people don't know there's an option. Yeah. That keeps the, the frost from heaving that. That is sweet. Nice clean out. Nice 12 inch round clean out. Love these things. This makes it so practical as a location where you want to be able to access your yard drain. Now, there's a difference between a French drain and a yard drain. A French drain has stone. A yard drain does not. So keep that in mind. We're putting in a driveway drain, and I'm worried as far as organic materials being collected from the trees around. So I want to put this in so that we can easily access it in the event that there's a lot of big leaves that end up stuck in the discharge line. You can drive over this basin and everything. I mean, this thing is made really strong. And there's no way the frost can push it up. Yeah, with the legs on there. Yeah, it's very nice. It's nice stuff. Man, that is some heavy, heavy material, man. That is really strong.
I love that it's so deep. It's like uh, 16 inches deep, I believe. Yeah. And then the 12 inch round. I mean, this is definitely the best yard drain basin. Yeah, versus those little ones. Yeah. Yeah. I've not seen one built this strong and this good. I mean, this is some serious quality, high quality. And then those legs, the way it holds the basin down so the frost can't heave it. That's awesome. I do the same thing. Yeah, just little bits. Yep. So you get enough to where it'll pop. It's the only way to do it. You can't really cut around it. It's a pretty heavy wall. I don't know what these are made out of, but it is a great material. I mean, it just... I think it's still an HDPE, but... It's not like a, like a, a hard plastic. It has some right. give so it won't crack. I mean, it's incredibly strong, ridiculously strong. And when you put the pipe in that... Oh, it's a great connection. Yeah, I've never seen a connection so good. You can't pull it out. So when you're piling dirt on this... This snaps on, and you can see it's braced. When you put this in the ground and you put dirt on this... See, now the frost can't heave it out of the ground. So, no, this is an amazing design, incredible basin... And we give it our approval big time. I mean, this is the only one we use in yard drains. Now, again, for the comment section in the peanut gallery, you don't use these in French drains. This is a yard drain basin. And we'll show you guys how to use these things in the future. But don't confuse this to be a French drain because it's not. They're different. Yard drain does not have any stone in it. Now, when people try to do this hybrid system and they use the same pipe, that's what we don't like. That's what we preach not to do. We'll show you how to do a yard drain, French drain combo. All right, guys. Stay tuned. When you go to do your burrito wrap or your French drain system, you want to make sure not to overlap. I've seen drains where they do a heavy overlap the water flows through this filter fabric just fine the filter fabric always has a gallons per minute rating this filter fabric here is going to move water it's going to move 140 gallons per minute through a square foot of it so what we want to make sure is that we don't overlap sure we want to pull them together we want to keep the dirt out but we don't want to have a bunch of extra filter fabric we're just overlapping on top of one another because that is going to create a problem and actually that will slow down your drain so once in a while you're going to have to enter the drain you're going to have cable AT&T Comcast uh, sprinklers too you got to make way for them and there's there's just really no getting around that. You know, you have to you have to work with that. For more tips, tricks, subscribe.